what's up and welcome. I am the one and only West Coast. Get, forget it. Capio! Ole, 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 ole. Oh, I had to get that one out. It's so good. Oh my goodness. I'm literally recording this about 10 minutes after the match has concluded. I, I still have my celebratory. I've had this beer, by the way, since the very first playoff game. I saved one out of my pack and I was like, you know what? I'm popping that sucker open when we win the title. And I popped it open tonight, baby. Oh my goodness. It's so good to finally drink. That's the best tasting beer I've ever had in my life. But anyway, yes, boys, we are back talking Major League Soccer and we are talking the MLS Cup final. Before we get into the celebrations, which I kind of just kind of jumped into prematurely, let's actually take a second to recap the game unbiasedly. Believe me, I, I, I will do my best to not grin like I have a shit eating grin on my face. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because we're the champions. Wait, no, no, no. Let's recap the game. So Toronto and Seattle. The game went about exactly how I expected it to. Toronto attacked and attacked and attacked relentlessly. Josie Altador was fantastic once again. And Giovinco was absolutely phenomenal as well. Had a little, a couple of mistouches in there every once in a while. But he still was very, very active on the ball a lot. And Seattle just bended, but did not break. That's that's their that's been their whole thing this, this, this postseason. Bend, but don't break. And they never broke. Stefan Fry easily... MVP for the playoffs, and it's not even close. The save he made on Josie Altador's header was one of the best saves I have seen in a very, very long time. That, that has to be save of the season. How did he... I thought when Josie Altador rose for that ball, it's over. It's going in the back of the net. Somehow, Stefan Fry stopped, changed directions, dove, and got fingertips to it and saved. I was, I was stunned. Absolutely stunned silence for like the next five minutes. I couldn't even, I couldn't even breathe. I was completely and utterly shocked that he stopped that shot and honestly Toronto were the better team I mean I expected them to be on the front foot for most of the game they were Seattle was abysmal offensively just could get nothing going that the the, the midfield so congested by Toronto's uh formation with the three at the back and just packing the midfield Seattle couldn't do anything against it and it was 100% gonna end up going to penalties from the from the opening kickoff when I saw what was going on we weren't getting through that defense and I don't we didn't register I don't think we had one shot on target or no shots on target. That it, it was bad. We didn't. We didn't. We were very good. Let's just put it that way. Um, and, and Toronto, honestly, yeah, they, they, they probably deserved to win. They, they were the better team. It, it wasn't even really debatable. But they couldn't score. They couldn't. They could not beat Stephen Fry. Torres and Marshall were huge in that game. They might be. I don't even think they might be. I'm gonna say they are the best center back pair in the MLS. Their positioning and tactical awareness is second to none. And with both of them in there, they're damn near unbeatable. And then Stefan Fry behind them when shots do come through, can't beat them. They are, they've got to be the best center back pair and goalkeeper trio in the entire league. They're absolutely phenomenal. So the game did come down to pens. And it got off to a, an interesting start. You know, a couple of good ones going in. Our captain, Brad Evans, steps up. Calm as, calm, calm as anything, puts it away after Josie Altador banged one side netting, as Josie Altador does. And then it kind of got hectic after that, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Bradley stepped up, who my brother absolutely hates Michael Bradley. He doesn't like him for the national team, doesn't like him for Toronto. He thinks he's not, he doesn't think he's very good. And uh, he proved it. He, he had one of the worst penalties I've seen in a very long time. Right at, I don't even, I don't even know how you do that. He, he barely pulled it a little bit to the side, but it, it was an easy save for Stefan Fry. After a couple of good pens, <sighs> Flacco, man, that's the, he's another player my, my, my brother absolutely hates. I keep trying to defend Flacco, but he came in and he was awful in the game. And then he stepped up for that penalty and he hit the exact same penalty Michael Bradley hit. And of course, Clint Irwin saved it. Just an awful pen. But the next penalties, woo, Joven Jones, top bins. Nico Ladero, top bins, man. Those were some really, really impressive penalties. And you know, I think that got in the head. Of the Toronto players. Because Justin Morrow stepped up after Nico's pen. And tried to go top bins. And he banged it off the crossbar. Oh my goodness. The worst possible thing you could do. Is to not get it on target. And he hit the freaking crossbar. And then it was all down to Roman Torres. I thought it was going to be Ozzy. I really thought it was going to be Ozzy to step up. But it was Roman Torres. And slots it way cool as a cucumber. And that was it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now I'm not going to go ahead and recap the whole Sounders story again. I've done that multiple times here. What they've been through this season. But I do want to say 
that I mentioned a long way back, and when they still had Clint Dempsey in the team, that if that Sounders team made the playoffs, that's the team that nobody is going to want to play. They're going to be the hot team going in, and they're going to be the most dangerous team in the league going into the playoffs. Nobody's going to want to play them. Absolutely nobody's going to want to play them. And I also said that this team feels like they're destined this season to win this thing. And they did. They stepped up and they absolutely did it. I, I, I just, you could just feel it. You could just feel it. And I, I, I'm, I'm actually just, I'm just stunned, man. I'm, I'm actually stunned. The way Toronto played, which just the Sounders on the back foot seemed all game long. You just felt like, especially when Ricketts came on late. Oh my God, that made me so nervous. When Ricketts came on late, I was thinking, oh man, it's just, they just can't hold forever. They just, there's no way they can keep holding this into stop or into extra time for 30 more minutes and still, they never broke. They just had the will, the sheer will, like they've had since July. They've had the sheer will to get it done. And that is an absolute reflection on Brian Schmetzer. Still say he should be coach of the year. How can he not be now that he's won the, the MLS Cup as well? Just from what they were to where they are now, it's, an, it's completely on Brian. Well, not completely, but it starts with Brian Schmetzer, the coach, and trickles down through the players. And it's an absolutely incredible feat what the Sounders have pulled off. I still can't believe we're champions. I so wish it was in Seattle at CenturyLink Field. 100% would have been there. That would have been the best vlog I've ever had in my life. I probably would have stopped vlogging after that because nothing would have topped that. But, oh my goodness, we are the champions of the MLS Cup. So that is it. That's it. That's a wrap for this one. That's a wrap for the season. Who would have thought it would end up with a Seattle Sounders victory in the MLS Cup Final? Certainly not me. I wrote them off in July, as a lot of people did. I said their season was over. And here we are. Here we are in December, bringing that trophy back to Seattle. I, I, I honestly, it's just, I just have no words for that. I just have no idea what to even say about that. But that is it for this one. If you did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to go have a couple more beers. And I will see you probably when the MLS season returns. We'll do our preseason predictions for next year. See ya. Champions, my friends. Dun, dun, dun.